what's going on guys jpb duel here hope you guys are enjoying your wednesday and thank you guys very much for the support you guys have shown me so far on my youtube and on my twitch and if you guys want to check me out when i do go live on twitch it's twitch.tv slash jpb duel link is going to be in the video description itself along with my schedule so i'll see you guys there for today's game i am going first and i started with no hand trap negations and surprise surprise opponent has ash blossom the Ash Blossom is my first Grey Red activation, I can't do anything about that. I don't have any combo extensions myself to go into my combo, so I have to end my turn. On my opponent's draw phase, I activate Maxi, so this will at least either deter him from going into a full combo if he's playing a combo deck, which he was, he was playing Phantom Knights, and he decided to take the Maxi challenge. This is another Maxi challenge video for today. Both my videos are about my opponent taking Maxi Challenge and regretting their choices. So, once my opponent takes the Maxi Challenge, there are three outs in my deck that I do want to draw into. First of all is the Nibiru, right? Second is our Ghost Spell. Third is our Effect Veiler. So I was hoping to draw into those to stop my opponent's combo from fully going through. I drew into my first out at the exact moment that my opponent was trying to special summon out the Share Beanie from the graveyard onto the field. So Ghost Bell negates that, that's one of my outs gone. Now I want to draw into either Effect Veiler or my Nibiru. Nibiru means I will stop my opponent's combo completely, that is gone. Effect Veiler means I'll stop my opponent from going into a six, 5 to 6 material Rongo Bongo. I drew into Effect Veiler, pretty nice. Now, you guys will see, the opponent will go into Rongo Bongo and with the Rongo Bongo combo, you guys know you need the bamboozling gossip on the field. If you effect Baylor bamboozling gossip, bamboozling gossip can negate that. But it has to discard the two materials attached to the bamboozling gossip itself. Keep this in mind, bamboozling gossip can negate Nibiru, okay? It just has to discard the two materials attached to it. So my, I use my effect Baylor, effect Baylor on opponent's bamboozling. He negates it, takes out the two materials attached to it, so it's not going to be a 5 material Rongo Bongo anymore. It's a 3 material Rongo Bongo. He goes into attack phase, kills off my drop, my Meow Mu, uses Rongo to hit me in the face for 3k, and then goes into Zeus using the Rongo Minion. Puts Zeus in defense in case of a Lightning Storm. Okay. He draws into a Phantom Knight's Fog Blade, sets down two cards. So I know for a fact that one of the cards he set down is a Fog Blade. We don't know what the other card is. So let's go into my draw phase. I draw into Celestial, okay? Now, if you guys look at my hand, I have a combo starter card, I have a Kaiju. Kaiju means that the Zeus is gone. It's pretty, I have no worries about the Zeus whatsoever. I have the Instant Fusion for combo extension, I have Thunder Dragon Fusion for the Butler Summon, and I have Fusion Destiny for DP. I even have Cross Out in case my opponent nibs me. So I can kill my opponent this turn easily if my opponent cannot interrupt my combo. So first of all, Kaiju on the Zeus. Be gone, Satan, right? Don't want to deal with that. Be gone. Then we go into our combo using Roxy's. Now, you guys might be asking me, Jay, why did you use the Roxy's instead of the Lampsies that you had in your hand to go into your combo? Why would you choose to banish a card? Okay, my rationalization for that is that I wanted to draw into either a Raigeki or Harpy's Spectrumster. That way I could wipe out his either Monster Zone or his back row. Because I know one card set down is a Fog Blade. If I go into, I was going to go into Unicorn into Access Code anyways. If I go into Unicorn and I target the wrong card, target the wrong face down card, and not bounce the Fog Blade, and then go into Access Code, my opponent can just use the Fog Blade on my Access Code, deny me my Access Code pops, right? And if I drew into either Raigeki or Harpies, I could have, you know, played around that. So I was just hoping to draw into that, just to BM my opponent more, I guess. Because even with access code being stopped, I had more than enough damage to kill my opponent. So I did not draw into Raigeki or Harpies, drew into a Dropsies. Okay, fine. Go into our combo, get the Doodle Doo, activate Pansies, chain block with Prankis Plates, and at the end, I put the Doodle Doo. In case my opponent wanted to Fog Blade the Doodle Doo, that's why I put it as a last chain link. If not do it, I search for a Pranks. Place will lower my opponent's monstrous attack by 500. Send to the graveyard another place. Special out Dropsies. Activate Place. Get a token. 
token plus doodle do equals our nightmare and this was really crucial right here which card should i target usually in my duels i almost always target the card set in the middle like i don't target this 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 or this i almost always target the card in the middle so i targeted the middle card using the nightmares bounce and i chose wrong that card was not the fog blade so now i go into access code access code will be put at 53 by its activation and my opponent pops his fog blade on my access code so access code gone i had another kaiju so i specialed out the kaiju because i gave my opponent a kaiju as well right so that's 2800 damage on the field now i use instant fusion go for my combo extension go into rocket ride tribute your rocket ride get two cards on the field two cards being the lamb seeds and drop seeds because if you guys don't realize by now I have not used the graveyard activations of either the Lampsies or the Dropsies. So I linked those two off into my Bow Wow Bar. Now I could have specialed out more monsters using the graveyard activations of Lampsies and Dropsies, but if I did that, I would be like I would be scrambling around for more space on board. I would, I would literally be space blocked. <laughs> so I did not use their specials. I only used their effect of burn plus heal. Did not use the special. Use Thunder Dragon Fusion, the Bow Wow Bark boost up Sprank's monster's attack by 1000, so Butler is at 45 after the place goes through, and then use Fusion Destiny go into DPE. This was literally overkill at this point. I go into battle phase, start killing my opponent's monsters. My opponent was a good guy, he stayed throughout this whole thing. He did not just scoop and you know, be, was like, I'm, I lost this game, let me scoop, go into another game. He was a good sport, so thank you, man. If you're watching this video, Tat Yumaru, thank you very much for staying in the game. Thank you very much, man. With that being said, this is the end of today's game. Hope you guys do like these videos. If you like them, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel, watching me live on Twitch if you guys want to watch me. With that being said, this is JP Bidul signing off for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace!